good morning, guys. It is Saturday morning. We'll get to get this one posted a little bit sooner than we did last night. Sorry it was so late last night. So this is Coffee and Questions for a Saturday. Uh, unfortunately, my plans didn't quite work out for the newsletter, but I'll make up for it next week. So, um, yeah, we're still here at uh, my son, daughter-in-law's, and, and granddaughter's in California. So let's. this is uh, my visiting coffee cup here. So let's get into the question. Here we go. This is from, um, gosh, who is it from? And I don't have printouts, unfortunately. I gotta read it off the laptop. Uh, gosh, I don't even have a name here. I apologize. But it was, uh, it says, Eric, um, to keep your boards from warping and splitting, uh, you can cut your board a little bit longer and dip the ends in wax. So this is a suggestion from one of you guys. Dip the ends in wax um, just on the end grain, and then when you get ready to, uh, to make a sign, you can cut off the ends. So this would be kind of, I haven't tried that, but it makes sense that it would work. Uh, like I mentioned uh, a week or two ago, if you don't have time to put sanding sealer on it when you first get your, this is only for the pine, but when you first get your boards back to your shop, um, I suggest if you can't put sanding sealer on it right away, if you have a can of kills, that, uh, that white uh, sealer, uh, it's kind of a primer sealer uh, cover over thing, you can just spray the end grain with kills and that will seal it up. And, uh, and greatly diminish any warping or cupping until you can get your sanding sealer on there. So this is just another option for you. And, and, and normally I don't recommend anything unless I try it first, but I, I believe this would be all right. But a, a can of kills is, is so simple. Just get a spray can of kills at Walmart for three or four bucks and just throw a, a real quick coat on the ends. So that is the question of the day. Hope that helps, guys. Um, and, oh yeah, i got to do the sign carver of the day. Let me tab over. <coughs> so this is from Josh Baker. And again, I don't have printouts, so we're just going to spin this around. Really a cool sign, Josh. <coughs> I love what you did. Can you get in on it, babe? Yeah. Cool. So Josh Baker, sign carver of the day. Great job. All right, you guys, so keep... Uh, we appreciate it. Keep sharing our videos and uh, send in those recipes. We're getting lots of them. So we've got lots of, uh, lots of people to pick from. So keep sending those in. And next week we'll definitely be, uh, um, be picking a winner for that sign. So now, last but not least, here comes my son and my daughter-in-law. Get in here on the camera, people. Bring it. Come on. This is my son, Ryan. And why are we why are you know going behind? <laughs> Just sit pick down. It in place. Oh, That's fine. Oh. So this is my son Ryan, my daughter-in-law Amy. Hi. Love them to death. They've been great hosts for us. And that's their dog. You saw the other day. Anyway, um, just uh, this is our extended family. Gwenny is still sleeping as we speak, but you may have heard the other day. Come on in, dog. All right. So uh, this is Amy and my, and my son Ryan. We're having a great time in California. Got to head home tonight. So uh, everybody have a great weekend. Thank you so much. Keep sharing, liking, and uh, we will see you guys Monday morning on Coffee and Questions. So say hi, guys, or did you? Hi. Hi. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this is, you'll see them again someday when I'll let them back on the channel. <laughs> anyway, have a great day, guys. We'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.